recent trip to the NZ Zoo, I spotted this sign by the trail. Now for most people, this would be a bad thing, but I am not most people. And after some searching, I hadn't found a single one of my favorite animals of all time. I had not found one, but two black rat snakes in the same place, after only a few minutes of searching. So this is a black rat snake. Right now it's musking, and you guys can probably smell that. That's their first defense. They don't really want to bite when they don't have to, because, you know, black snakes, as opposed to water snakes that you might find around here, they're actually really calm. Now these guys, lots of people see snakes and they just kill them on sight because they think all snakes are bad. But these guys are actually pretty awesome. As their name would suggest, they, they do kill mice and things like that, rodents, and other pests like squirrels that you might get in your attic. This is actually the first black snake I found all year, which is great because I've been looking these, for these guys everywhere. So we're just here at the NC Zoo. Now after releasing that snake back into the rafters, I couldn't find any more around my house for weeks. And then, this happened. Alright guys, we were just biking to go look for snakes. We hadn't even turned onto the side road and I saw something on the road and I said, Bailey, there's a snake right there. Now he took two pops at me when I first caught him, but now he's all calmed down. This is so cool. I always love handling black snakes. Black snakes are one of my favorites. Now this is Bailey's first experience with big snakes. <laughs> no, Wait, it's okay. It's it's facing towards me. Yeah, I know, but the tongue, it's just smelling you. Remember the ringneck snakes? Yeah. He just wants to smell you. I've... All right, Bailey. You ready? Yeah. There you go. Ah, Look at that. <laughs> now, watch. I'll pull his tail up. Like that. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> Look, you're doing it. Yeah. Here, come over here. Come over here. Look. Look at her face. Look how happy. You're doing it. You're holding a snake. See? They're not so bad. This Were you makes scared? Me feel a lot, I was a, really scared, but this makes me feel a lot better. Yeah. I love black snakes. I think my very first experience with snakes was actually with a black snake. You know, I was walking through the yard one day when I was a kid, and I stepped on something. I thought it was like a pipe. Lo and behold, it was actually a really big black snake, and it didn't even bite me. Now, that was my first experience with snakes, and it was, in fact, a black red snake, just like this one. Now, I'll show you right now, I actually found a huge shed skin in my yards. If you thought those snakes were big, look at this. Now, guys, that is a big snake. I don't even know if the camera can see it all, but this thing is just almost as tall as I am. All right, guys, so that is from a black snake. It measured five feet, two inches long. So that is next on the list as far as snakes go. Now, one really cool thing about black snakes you may not know is that they are adept tree climbers. These guys are actually amazing at climbing trees, and I'll show you just how talented they are. Let's come on this side so you can see it in the camera. He, yeah, you can follow him around the tree. Watch that, look at that. I'm not helping him. Because of their climbing ability, bird eggs are also on the menu for a black snake if the opportunity presents itself. But how do they manage to scale a tree with no legs? So they'll contract and release different muscles along the body to create that S movement. And they push off from things on the ground. So like on something like glass, he wouldn't be able to move as well. But most snakes around here, that's what they do. That's exactly how he climbs trees as well. He just contracts and releases certain muscles. Kind of like how, you know, and that's just how muscles work. It's just how your legs work too. It's just a contraction and a release of muscles. These are probably the most common snake that can be found in the North Carolina Piedmont. You can find these guys literally everywhere. And lots of people know that they're good because, you know, everyone's seen a black snake. But some people still choose to kill them because they just don't like to have snakes around. So these guys are just so cool. Very calm animals. One of my absolute favorite snake species. I'm so glad I could show them to you guys. Wow, I just love these animals. We'll get them right back. And then we brought them to a safe location. We're back here in a forest far away from any roads. See ya, buddy. Have a good life. Well, Team Wild Report, I hope that you enjoyed that episode and learned something new about the black rat snake. Make sure to follow my social media pages for daily updates about my adventures, and subscribe to my channel for new wildlife content coming every Thursday morning. With that being said, I want to give a huge thank you to all my current subscribers for your support, and hope that as a result of my videos, you have become more wildlife conscious and had some great adventures in your own backyards. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.